Okay, in the previous video, we recorded some piano notes in the track eight. You can see those are designated there by the shaded squares. It's kind of not all that great. The timing and the uh, key progression is a little bit off. Let's go ahead and preview this. It's really loose, even the way I press the keys, it kind of like double triggered a note in there. Now there's a couple things you can do to kind of fix this as you're recording. If you want to quantize as you're recording, you can select which note you want this to snap to. And then also if you're in the track edit page, which is P6, you can actually go into the drop down list here and you can quantize from the drop down list there and select you could select measures 1 through 16 which is what we recorded into and you could change what resolution after it's already recorded you wanted your notes to snap to so that's kind of a cool feature there now if you want to scrap everything that you recorded all together you don't really have to do anything you don't even have to erase these notes you can just exit out make sure you're still on the same track 8 that you're going to record into and under preferences just make sure that you're set up to overwrite. And so that's going to delete what's there and record in the new notes. Go ahead and stop that there. I think I like that even less. Let's just hear what it sounds like. Okay, so you see what happened there? When I stopped playing notes, even though I didn't get into much past, uh, I think it was measure six or seven, I didn't get past those, it started deleting notes, additional notes that were in there all the way up to measure 16, <clears throat> even though I stopped recording. So go ahead, and, go ahead and press the page button, take a look at P6 track edit. So you can see it deleted everything that was in track Eight. and sometimes that's not what you want to happen so sometimes you may want to leave uh, some of the notes that are in there and just record kind of in a certain section so that's where you would use the punch in so let's go ahead and compare this once I do that that's got the notes in there all the way up to measure 16 let's go back to the beginning and exit out of this so we're at the P0 page so under the preferences tab, now we're just going to go ahead and select in like a punch in. So I only want to overwrite notes that are in measures one through four. And let's try recording there. And then I'm going to stop just after measure four. And you'll see that measures five all the way up through 16. It's still leaving the note data in there. can hear that still playing um, I'm not gonna play this back again but you can see once I quit playing any notes that continued on what I previously recorded so that's kind of cool to do sometimes too for auto punch in let's do another type of recording here now I'm just gonna tap in like just one note to kind of accent the beat it's not really gonna be a melody and I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a second stop that there so now if we take a look really what I've got here is just that one note press whenever the orchestra hits so now there we can do something different called overdub where I'm kind of adding notes but also leaving that one note hit in there and so it's actually gonna keep what was recorded previously and combine that with what I'm recording next So we'll go ahead 
ahead and stop there. So now it's got what I recorded previously with the one note hit on the orchestra hit, and then also what I was kind of lightly doing with the melody, like the next octave down. So that's kind of how you'd use the overdub feature. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get into more detailed track edits.